Do you hear that, everyone? Alarm bells are ringing. Look, look, let's cut the alarm bells. I mean, is it is a crisis at the moment. A lot of people, and I've seen a few more um, Rafa out comments, and which is ridiculous in itself. Now, yes, we can blame Rafa for doing this, for doing that. And look, we, you're allowed to criticise Rafa Benitez. The first thing that people are worried about is going out on social media, whether it's Twitter or Facebook, and criticising Rafa Benitez because they get a backlash, because then you've got to look at the bigger picture. And I think he does deserve some credit, but, you know, you do have to look at the whole situation rather than just Rafa himself. So, you know, we're thought of this video idea and let's have a look at the fixtures and hopefully it eases some people's concerns because look I'm slightly worried but I know we've got an easier fixture list once we've got Man United out of the way. Now the whiteboard is back as you've obviously seen it behind us but already there's a trend that we'll lose 2-1. We even got beat off Sp um, not the Forest 2-1 but you know we've got we've played we've played Spurs We've played Chelsea, we've played Manchester City, and we've played Arsenal already. Four of the big six. We've got Man United approaching in a couple of weeks' time on the 6th of October. And then the next big side, this is crucial what I think where Newcastle can start picking up points. The next big side is Liverpool, who are flying at the moment. Not until Boxing Day. That's a good solid 10 weeks without any big boys. And that's where Newcastle need to pick up results for me. This one... The Cardiff one, we were shocking. I don't think we deserve to win, but it was very deflating that Kennedy missed the penalty. But in, in hindsight, we didn't deserve to win that game. So I think a draw on, ref, on reflection is a fair, a fair result. Now, the fixture list over here, I've written them down up until, this is all the way up until the Liverpool game on Boxing Day, right? So if you look at this, look at September. So we've got Palace next, which I do feel we need to take something from that just to ease the pressure a little bit. Leicester at home. And then we've got your Man, your Man United away. Now we're not expecting to get anything from Man United hour. So let's just literally take Man United out of the equation, right? So that's, that's zero points, right? We'll be at Old Trafford if you're wondering, right? And then if you look there, Brighton, Southampton in October, and then you move into November, you've got Watford, Bournemouth, Burnley, and then you start going into December where there's several games you're playing literally once every three to four days. You've got West Ham at home, you've got Everton away, you've got Wolves at home, you've got Huddersfield away, you've got Fulham at home, and then you play Liverpool. For me, you know you're talking Palace, or a relegation candidate. You're talking Brighton, possibly Southampton. Yes, Watford are flying, but I reckon we can get something at home. Bournemouth will be somewhere around about there. Burnley are struggling massively at the moment. West Ham have only just got the first win. Everton will never really do well there, so that might be a nail pointer. Wolves, who what? how will Wolves be when December comes round? You know, Huddersfield are tipped to go down. Fulham are a newly promoted side, so it's not all negative at the moment. We've got a lot of fixtures there where Newcastle can pick up points. I know we've had a tough start yes you can criticize Rafa playing five at the back a, a couple against these teams yes you can say we should have got uh, more out of the Spurs game and what have you it's all ifs and buts but the reality is Newcastle are currently sitting second bottom in the Premier League at the moment and yes it's only five games but if you look at that bottom bottom half we played four big guns all those teams down there after you know we played man united we'll have to start playing them whereas we don't we're going to be playing teams around us and that's where i think our season starts if we can get a winner palace i don't know maybe get four points out of these two games get beat off man united well I, mean, I don't want to get beat off man united but i'm thinking of it is it that we're going to get beat right because we're not expecting to get now are we and then look at that if we can then start picking a point, which I am expecting Newcastle to do, I'm very confident that we will. And, you know, people are a little bit jumping out that, and you've just got to be calm, just be calm, we'll start picking up points. And I honestly think that Newcastle will be all right this season. And that's a difficult start, and it's worse. It's the worst start since something like 99-2000. But have faith in Rafa Benitez, he's a world-class manager, and yes, he does get sometimes, he gets it wrong, he's human. You can't get it right every day. Who's next to come in after Rafa Benitez with Mike Ashley in charge? Think yourselves lucky that we've got Rafa Benitez, man.